Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to English Football Club Barcelona, your Barcelona channel in English. Well, today we have some news to talk about. Actually, Barcelona played a game, but not Barcelona, the, the men's team. We are talking about the women's team. So we are going to start, but before starting, let me remind you down, down there, that down there, there is a red button that you can hit to subscribe. Unlike this, you will not miss any of our daily videos. Videos talking about, for example, now the transfer market or pre-matches, post-matches, analysis of different steps, etc. So, you know, if you like this kind of videos, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. To don't forget or to don't miss any of our daily videos. And now, yes, without more delay, let's start. <laughs> Well, as I'm always saying, women's first. Today, Barcelona played against Betis and we won 4-0. That was uh, an easy match. No, it's the, uh, it's the fifth match, the 50th, 50th match that we win in, San, in Johan Cruyff's stadium. Since we played there in 19, in uh, sorry on August 27th 2019, we've never lost a match there. I'm trying to read if we've lost any match there, but as soon as I, as far as I know, nothing. And this is the um, yeah exactly. We've played 50 matches there and 50 victories, counting matches for victories. Incredible. Today, uh, I don't have the, the, the players who scored the goals, so that's really sad. But today we won 4-0 and we are still there in the first position with the women's team, right? Also, talking about men's team. If you remember yesterday, we talked about the Adama Torres arrival. Actually, I told you probably when I posted the video, it would be official. Until this moment, I didn't see anything official, really. It, there is no one that has said Adama is for Barcelona, etc. But this is a clear uh, message for Dembele. Barcelona wants Dembele to go away. Clear. Uh, they were the, on Tuesday. They said to him, "If you want to play, if you don't want to renew, sorry, you have to leave. Because here, if you don't renew, we are you are not going to play anymore." And it seems that the for the last forty eight hours that he has to for the transfer for the transfer market to win to the for the transfer market window to be closed. Dembele and his agent is trying to find a team for the French player. It seems that in this moment, Manchester United, Manchester United, Chelsea, and I don't remember one third team, they are interested in the French player. PSG too, but these three teams, it seems that they are more interested. There could be different options. They are talking about getting the player from now or even more about getting the player as a loan. So they would pay just the salary for the until the end of his contract and then let and then at the end of the contract. So maybe sign him or maybe let, let him go wherever he wants. That's a good option for Barcelona. We'll uh, save all his salary. And with this money, we could bring other players, right? But the image, the message brought from Barcelona to Dembélé is clear. You're not going to play and bring in Adama Traoré. It seems that it's cl is clearer that Adama Traoré is going to be before him. That we don't need. It's a message saying we don't need you. If you don't want to renew, go. And it seems that Dembélé has got the message. He doesn't want to stop playing because don't forget that at the end of this season, we have the Euro Cup. No, sorry, the 
the World Cup. Well, not at, exactly at the end. I think it's in December or November. But of course, Dembele wants minutes. He wants to play to show that he has to go to that World Cup. And if he doesn't play, this is the same that was happening to Coutinho. They both know. They both know that there were there will be no 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 chance for them to go with their national teams. So that's it. Dembele trying to find a team, and as I told you yesterday, it seems that Morata has problems to come to Barcelona. The problem is that Atletico doesn't accept Morata coming to Barcelona just as a loan. They are saying if they want Morata, they have to to sign him. Barcelona has no money, even though Morata really wants to come to Barcelona, even though Morata is uh, interested in coming to Barcelona. Barcelona has no money to, to sign him. <clears throat> Sorry. And then the option was to bring him as a loan. If Atletico says they don't accept this kind of deal, Barcelona has no money at all to 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 get Morata. And even even if we sell Dembele, it's going to be impossible. Sad because we need a, a forward with goal. But it seems that this option could be uh, could be saved or could be uh, solved bringing Aubameyang. I think that's the name. Well, deeper the player from Arsenal who this year is he's interested in leaving the team. He's a player that Barcelona likes him. For me, I have I really like him too. It, in Barcelona, they have liked, they have talked about him for many uh, for long time uh, since long time ago. I've seen some matches of Abemian and I really like how he plays. Of course, they I I, I don't know the name. How to pronounce? I think I'm pronounce it properly. Anyway. Uh, I have no doubt that he will be a great forward for Barcelona and a good help for our team. Because if uh, what Xavi is uh, conscious of is that Barcelona needs goal. And if we don't get Morata, we need another forward. I'm saying this because there is a, the, the option. Barcelona, when this transfer market arrival arrived, they wanted to get three players. Uh, a forward, a wing, and then some players at the defense. Not a center back, but for example, a left back for Alba, and a right back because it seems that the what Mingueza and Des are giving us is not enough. And for the left, it seems that Xavi doesn't count or doesn't trust Balde yet. No? And talking about them, it seems that. In this moment, Barcelona gave the option to Mingueza to leave. Mingueza had a lot of minutes with them, uh, with Kuman, but with Xavi, he's not really considering him as an option for the team. Uh, last year, I think he accomplished, he played pretty well, but this year, I'm not really sure why his level is far from where he was. And that's I guess the reason why Xavi considers that Mingueza should not should not be in the in the team. He shouldn't be playing for Barcelona. No. So what are the options? One of the options was to let him go to Valencia. In Valencia, they wanted to get him, but it seems that he didn't got the uh, an agreement with the with the Che, the team Che. And it seems that with Girondins of the the team, the French teams, it seems that they tr they tried to get Mingueza, but the same, his agent didn't reach an agreement with them, and finally he's going to stay in Barcelona. Why? Because there is another player as left a uh, right back that in Barcelona they like him, Munir. If I'm not wrong, is Munir? Let me find the name again. Yeah, Munier. Munier wanted to come to Barcelona. Barcelona wanted him, but both parties knew that it's not a, a primary option. And now I want to know your opinion. Which player do you think or would you like to 
come to Barcelona. Whoever it is, please leave it there on the comment section. As I was saying, uh, for me, I don't consider this as an option. I need, I think Des needs more minutes. We have Alves too, so we are pretty covered in that side. I think we need another replacement for Alba. That that's more, more a problem that we are having now, and that will be. But by, by the moment, of course, for the next transfer window in in summer. So no, but by the moment, I think we could have a good team with those signings. Sadly, Mingueza will not leave, and if we want to get another player, we'll have to wait for Dembélé to leave. And that's why all these names came up. No Adama, uh, no Adama Torre, Abema Young, Munir, etc. All these players came up, but they are waiting for Dembele to leave because that's the door. That's uh, if Dembele leaves, he'll open the door. And now talking about uh, about Ansu Fati, as you know, he's injured. He decided not to do the surgery. I think it was the right decision. If it happens again, then yes, you should start considering that maybe just the traditional recovery is not enough and then you should do a surgery. But in this moment, I think it's not the case. You know? And they are considering now that them that Ansu Fati is going to be away or out for two months. Sadly, because the player has uh, anemically is quite sad. No, it's quite affected. And he has many other things in mind. He has that pressure, etc. And he, he really wants to come back and show and give his best. But in this moment, the best for him is to rest, to forget football, to take it everything away from his mind. mind sorry, And then he will have time to show his quality because he has it. I, I have no doubt over that and I hope those man, those two months become one month and three weeks or one month and two weeks but properly recovered if not then let him rest and that's all for today guys I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you you like it you know I want to know your opinion so leave it there on the comment section and also if you like it, the video hit the like button if you don't want to miss any of our videos Subscribe and see you in the next one. Have a nice day.